Can we see a PvP match? I'm not geared for PvP. Our, our, the esteemed uh, Dakota Earthhorn is mostly unhappy that he can't play life like a life. <laughs> Large double. <laughs> That's the best name. Oh, that is the best name ever. I love him so much. That is awesome. Anyway, life, the problem with life right now is that, is that you know, a lot of people don't want to play life as just a hitter. I'm a Mac life. You've never healed my team before the nerf. Well, then why are you struggling, I guess? Because I have heard other life players say that they're not struggling. Like, like, granted that life doesn't heal well right now, at least certainly not with your burst healing. And, and by the way, we do want to fix that. And I've, I've mentioned it to, uh, to Dakota. We will, uh, in the next season, probably increase um, life's uh, ability to heal. We are still thinking about what to do with incoming healing. I think we probably would prefer that that stat goes away. Which is why that stat is not on kind of the top end gear. So now, even if you know, if you wanted, even if we hadn't turned off incoming healing, it wouldn't exist on the top end gear. Um, the certainly not the glass cannon gear. What we would like to see, and coming out of the gate, like a, you know, of the two of the two possible options coming out of the gate, um, having the lifes come in and still be able to stall out matches, or having lifes come in and have to and have to basically hit that. That decision is very clear, right? We would we would rather that that lives were strongly incentivized to come out and uh, and hit. Now, I have said before, and I mean it. I'm very serious about it. We want life to be able to heal. We don't just want it. We need life healing, right? It is a it is a mitigation uh, mechanic that is important to the to, to the proper functioning of the Rochambeau. So we want it to be there. So life mastery is so useless right now. Not PD, it's not. Why would they ban level 70 PvP? Makes zero sense. I will make it make more than zero sense. There are not enough players at 70 to play. Just move up. We want you to move up. We cannot possibly support all the level bans. We cannot and will not support every 10 level ban. It just spreads the players out across multiple places. And then players come in and say, Hey, how come I never get a match? And I say, What level are you? And they say, I'm level 70. And I'm like, Well, nobody else wants to play level 70. That's not where the players are. I got plenty of matches, but okay. Where at? Right. Is it team all PvP? 1v1? Man, I can tell you how many people were there were in there. I can tell you how many matches everybody at level 70. I can tell you how many matches you got at level 70 over the past six months. And I, <laughs> and I can tell you it's not nearly as many as the other bands that were supporting. So even 30 had more matches than 70 for sure. I get why incoming healing was nerfed, but I feel like I wasted my time after spending countless hours farming for 70 incoming jewels. How is that any different than, than farming for Dragoon's gear and then better gear comes out? It. You're playing an MMO. Better gear is going to come out. Oh, poops. Any thoughts on Team PvP? I know it's a small community now, but wait. I know it's a small community now, but Kroger and 1v1 balancing killed it. I wouldn't say that 1v1 balancing killed it. The fact that we're not supporting it is, is what... This is what killed it, killed it. But that's part of the reason we took it out, right? Because doing the, doing the balancing for 1v1 certainly changed things. We may have to ask, we have leagues now, and we may have to ask for some new tech to make spells work a little differently in, in uh, team than they do in 1v1. So stay tuned. We'll work on it next. So I think team is cool. Oh, and halt the Lemuria World Pack. Don't sell top tier gear in packs. That is terrible. No, that's not terrible. That's, that's, that's not terrible at all. A lot of people, myself included, would rather just spend crowns to get it than to spend time to get it so is the launch of fifth age going as expected have you done anything differently what are you proud of so far yes what would i have done differently uh i mean I, obviously I, I wish we had more time but what am i proud of uh i'm holding the line on on the, I'm holding holding that for a bit we'll, we'll see but i can tell you that um that pvp participation is about so far it's about triple triple what it was expected fifth age to be a big deal when it came out and we're still we're still in the it's come you know it's come out part so um participation from where it's at now is is about what i would expect to be and where it goes from here is a kind of a kind of a tbd don't start beef in my in my chat y'all what would i have done differently you know i would have I, I would have liked to do all the spell elements through all the arcs that would have been fun to do to do design but maybe too crazy right if you guys had all of your arc two spells as well with spell element paths on them and arc three spells with spellments on them that would have been fun to do but maybe maybe too crazy it would have taken it would have taken us a lot longer to figure out where the meta uh, was going to land although a meta shouldn't really land anywhere give every spell a spellment path except lore master the lore, the lore master spellment path i think that work is done can we see it ah you'll see it when it comes out why the pivot away from gamma along the face of events and abner k doodle telling us about new systems yes um 
because our, our voice for Gamma is no longer with us. Pretty sure if I may have literally destroyed the remaining P101 community last guy alive. Oh, really? I don't think so. Calling the best gear in packs also feels wrong. E I'm not sure I agree with you. Redbeard, where do you think we go when we die? I always end up going back to the comments. I do believe in an afterlife. Mm -mm -mm. Redbeard, the only dev to believe in the afterlife and ban Guardian Spirit from PvP. You're making this fight way harder than it needs to be. You're making my chat way suckier than it needs to be. Is your guys plan with Pirate to get it to Wizard 101 Caliber, or do you just say that won't happen and just and just put little things in, in to tame the bloodthirsty pirates? No, it, I can tell you for sure. We would absolutely positively love for Pirate to uh, to see what we see, what we have perceived to be its its highest potential. But there are questions about that, right? Like we like it's important for us to know why Pirate has never had the success that Wiz does. There's all kinds of reasons for that. It could be the game. It might not be the game, right? We're not sure what that is, but we, we definitely see that Pirate has a lot of potential. So it's just simply a matter of growing the player base to a level of success that can you know, support it going forward. Emma says, this is a good one, Emma. I'm confused by the mixed messaging. We don't design around multiple wizards versus spellment pools dropping all school spellments rather than focusing on the same school pool. When we say we don't design around multiple wizards, what that means is, is that we can't calibrate the grind against the people who have multiple wizards. That's why spellments dropping now feels good if you have multiple wizards, right? Because the grind assumes that you have one wizard that you care about and anything that doesn't drop a spell for your school is trash right trash in other words it's a miss if you have multiple wizards it is not trash right you give it to that uh, to the extra wizard so the grind is based on a on a single wizard the the time to acquisition that we have planned out is around a single wizard but it's extremely generous because if you have multiple wizards you're just in other words if you finish your spell let's say i'm playing my myth by the time i finish getting all the myth spells that i want I should also, just by the, the law of averages, have all the spellaments for all, for any wizard, right? If you're a player who only has one wizard, as, as most players are, you'll make another wizard. So if the drop rates had been designed with school locking in mind, we would be experiencing rates about one-seventh of what we currently see. That's right. Do you think granting people the option to queue for any level band that they surpass the level threshold for it would incentivize players to go to max? I'm not sure I understand what you're asking, because it seems like you're asking to, for us to down-level your wizard. And that would be extremely complicated to do and probably probably not worth. Uh, all right, uh, that's it for me today. Thank you all for tuning in. Blow poops, 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 blow poops.